Hey guys, Nick here. Today we're going to go through a video to show you how to split a data table based on a condition. So what we're going to be working with today is this data here from a one of our blog posts that I've been working on. So we got data here where we show um, different car make and models based off of year um, where it has the year detail and it has the detail on the type of car whether it's a truck, SUV or an actual car. Um, so our goal today, we have two goals. First off, to take the data table and split the table into two, where one data table has all the trucks in it, and then the other table has everything that's not a truck. And then our second goal is to take the data table and split it so that all the vehicles that are model year 2000 or newer are in their own data table, and then the other vehicles are in, are in a separate data table. Um, so let's get started. So this is a data table we'll be working with. To accomplish our goals, we have to go into the node repository and look for the row splitter node. So we'll take the row splitter node, drop it into our workflow, connect it to the data table we're working with, and, oh, sorry about that. So now that we've got it connected, we're gonna double click to configure so on this screen, you'll see a few different um, few different windows within this the configuration menu. You've got this little window, this little box over here. You've got another one over here, and then you've got this bigger one over here. So this first top section over here, this is where we select which column we want to match our condition on which we'll split the data table into two tables. For example, to hit our first goal, we're specifically looking at the vehicle type. So we're going to set our column value matching to the vehicle type because we're going to want to say split the table when the vehicle type is truck, um, split it one way, and when it's not truck, split it the other way. So after you've got that set, this box over here basically says is where we outline do we want the match to be the top output or we, do we want the match to be the bottom output so the way the outputs work is this top one right here this top output is when the match meets the criteria and you have this setting set to include if you have it to exclude then whatever matches will go to the bottom output so it just gives you control over which table goes to the top and which goes to the bottom output of the row splitter node. And then finally, in this box over here, this is where we set up the matching criteria that we want to look for in the column that we specified up here. So for example, our first one, we want to match specifically when the vehicle type is a truck so essentially we want to pattern match. We want to match on this string. So we'll use this box over here to set that up. You've got a few different options over here to be able to mess with, but then you've also got a different option where it, you can specify a range of what's included in the true and what's included or what's included not included in the true. So what's to be excluded. And then finally you have this option over here to basically match based off of if the column has missing values or not, which we're not using, we're, we want to match specifically on this string or this text. So what we're going to do is, since we have the type set selected already as the column we want to match in, we're going to use the pattern matching. So we'll select that little bubble, and then if you click this down arrow right here, it actually lets you select which of the different types, so which of the unique values that are within this type column you want to match. So you don't even have to type in what you want to match within the columns. We'll just select truck. We'll do case sensitive because we know they're all, you know, they're all spelled with a capital T. After that, all we have to do is hit apply because we I want to include the trucks on the top table. So I'll hit include so that I know when a truck matches, it hits this top output. When it doesn't match a truck, then it'll hit the bottom output. So we hit apply, hit OK, and then we can execute this node. And now when we go to look at the results, you've got a filtered and then a filtered out. 
So your filtered is your top table, your filtered out is your bottom table. The filtered is where we're gonna see specifically the trucks. So we'll click on that. And now let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. So I'll increase the font size. So now you can see every type within this top table is a truck, right? So wherever the type match truck, that's exactly what we got in this top output. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the bottom output, the filtered out, the stuff that didn't match truck. So let me narrow this window down and then I'll increase the font size for you guys so it's a little easier to see. And then we'll look at both tables against each other. So now the top output, everything matches truck and the bottom output is anything else that didn't match truck. So we've got eight rows in the bottom where it wasn't a truck. We've got 12 rows on the top where it didn't match a truck. We can go back and check it against our original data table. We should see eight plus 12, 20 total rows. And if you look at the row count on our original table, that's 20 rows. So we've, uh, we've filtered out the trucks into their own table. So goal number one is complete. So now that we've matched based on a string, the second goal is to match based off of a integer because if you look at our data table, this year value isn't a string, it's actually an integer. So we want to match where we want to match all these into their own table and then all these into their own table because we want 2000 and above as its own table and anything that's not 2000 and above in it, into a separate table. So what we'll do is we'll go back in here and we'll set this up now so we want to match the in the column the year we're not using pattern matching anymore we're actually going to use a range checking so we're going to say 2000 as the lower boundary and you can see that you can see this um this little note up here it says you need to specify at least one boundary so if you want to limit the boundary on the top end and the bottom end you can do that using the lower and upper bound but if you only want to uh, limit it from a bottom up then you just input something on the lower bound or if you want a ceiling you just input the upper bound it'll grab the upper and then anything down so what we're gonna do is on the lower bound we're gonna type in 2000 because we know that integer from our original data table oh that's not it this one so we know we want to match wherever there's a, a year 2000 or higher so our lower bound is 2000. So now we're going to include those so that the top output over here is anything that's a model year 2000 or newer. So what we're going to do is hit apply, hit OK, hit OK, and now we'll execute this. And now one more time we'll look at the top output which is where anything is 2000 or above, that filtered selection. And now, let me zoom in for you guys one more time. So now if I sort this year descending, the last year should be the lowest. So anything 2000 and above, so you can see the, the lowest value is 2003. So we've successfully filtered out 2000 and above. So that means by default, this bottom table should not be anything 2000 or over. And then if we zoom in a bit, you can see these are all year 1997. And that's it. So we successfully filtered out any vehicles that are model, model year 2000, excuse me, or newer into one table and everything else into another table. So now, just to show you guys uh, the use of the other option, let's say the filter table had the 2000 and up stuff. So let's actually move this table off to the side. Now what we're going to do is we're simply going to change this ex this include to the exclude so now what's going to happen is anything that's model year 2000 or higher should be in the bottom output and not the top output right so we'll hit apply we'll hit ok we'll hit ok and just to show you guys the example if we click on that filtered table again we shouldn't see anything that is 2000 so now let me zoom in you can change the font size over here. Default's 11, so we'll run with 15. And then let me change the row height to 24. 
So now, if you look at that top output, so if I do the filtered, it's this table over here. It's all 1997. So then by default, that means what we did match is on the exclude, it's on the bottom. So what we did match should be in this filtered out table. And if we sort this descending, the last value should be 2000 or higher. So we'll zoom in again to make it easier to see. You can see now that bottom table has everything that's 2000 or higher. So in our data sets, 2003 all the way through 2021. So that's guys how you split a table based off of one condition. Um, stay tuned, the next video I'm gonna show you how to split the table based off of multiple conditions. So if you wanna split this table specifically for so that you get anything that's uh, model year 2007 in Honda and its own table and everything else in its own we can run that we can I'll show you guys how to do that based off of these two conditions uh, so stay tuned for that video if you guys have any questions or you need anything clarified don't forget to drop a comment um, like always like the video uh, share it with your friends that need help picking up Nime and subscribe so you can stay up to date I'm trying to keep up with uh, two videos a week um, but like always, I'll catch you guys on the next video.